Hey y'all, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos. It's our goal to develop, encourage, and grow your talents and confidence in your own crafting skills. So tonight, we are going to be making a cute little Valentine's Day shirt. Um, as always, let me know where you're watching from. We are going to be doing um, some heat transfer vinyl. So I already have my designs cut. As you guys know, I like to go ahead and cut it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the extra and we're going to be doing a cute little design. I'm just going to go through and trim off all the extra vinyl first. Okay, so right now I'm just trimming off all of the extra pieces. Now, you guys, it's hard to see on the video that it's already been cut, but these sections have already been cut and we're using heat transfer vinyl. I want to make sure I don't cut the actual line. I'm using heat transfer vinyl. And so I have the design is mirrored tonight. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use my little weeding tool and I'm going to peel up um, the extra. So all I'm doing now is I'm just peeling away um, the extra vinyl. And again, this is heat transfer and so it is not sticky. Um, it weeds pretty easily if you have a good cut on there. Um, the carrier sheet for heat transfer vinyl is what's sticky. So if you haven't ever worked with heat transfer before, just be prepared that the carrier sheet is the sticky part, not the actual vinyl itself. So because the vinyl needs the heat in order for it to stay, stay put. And so all I'm doing is I'm just kind of going through and pulling up all the little extra pieces of vinyl. You guys can see working my way through the design. Now, tonight's design is going to be three layers. We're going to do three different layers um, on top of each other. So hopefully it turns out cute. It looks cute in my mind's eye, but sometimes, you know, it's one of those where it looks really cute in your mind's eye, and then maybe if we get it down on the shirt, it's like, oh, those colors didn't go so well. So we'll see. <laughs> Have you guys ever had that happen where it's like you think it's going to look amazing, and then it's like, ah, it didn't look so good. Okay, so this is going to be our bottom layer. Let me take out the inside of this O. This is layer number one. That's gonna go straight on the bottom. There you go. Um, did I miss anything? No. Okay, so that's the bottom. Now let's do the other two. This will be the next layer. Let's see. Here we go. And same thing. I'm just peeling off the extra parts that I don't want attached onto my shirt. There we go. For those of you guys who have never layered, have you guys ever layered before? So this is going to be the next layer. So we've got the pink one, and then this is going to be layer number two. And I'm just doing this so that you guys can get an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm not actually going to press it like this, so just keep that in mind. If you press it like that, it will be a big old giant mess. So <laughs> I just always like to line it up though so that I have um, one, an idea of what it's gonna look like. Make sure I didn't weed any of um, the spots. Yes, okay, so this is regular heat transfer vinyl. This one is patterned heat transfer vinyl. Um, you know, as far as the shirt stretching, if you're gonna have a super stretchy shirt, like if somebody's going to be like pulling it or you know it's gonna be a snugger fit or something like that, you're gonna wanna use stretch rather than um, just the regular. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I've got all my pieces. And I'm gonna put this one on top as well. Oh, I think that looks cute with the, the white and the black. I was worried, I wasn't sure what it was going to look like. Okay, so this is what our design is actually going to look like, if you guys can kind of see. And then what we're gonna do is we have this shirt here, and I'm just gonna show you guys, this is what it's going to look like. It's just a cute little simple Valentine's Day shirt. So you guys can see, that's what it's going to look like. I'm gonna use my heat press to press this down, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do first though is, 
Um, you know, for me personally, I'm a big eyeballer. Y'all know this, I like to just eyeball things, but for those of you who don't like to eyeball, let me show you a way that you can make sure that your shirt is centered. Now, this is gonna be kind of tricky because I have to turn around for a little bit and like, it's kind of awkward, so I feel bad if my I'm facing like, the other way, but let me show you a way that you can find the center of your shirt. So what you'll do is you will fold your shirt in half, just like this, fold it in half this way, and then I'm gonna press it right here, put it on my press, and just give it a little press, okay? And what we're doing is we are putting a crease right in the middle of the shirt so that we know where the center is. So can you guys see there's a little bitty crease right there in the middle. The SVG is one that I designed. I created this and it is, um, I gave it to all of our members. Okay, so once we have that in the middle, what you can also do is you can take your shirt and you can fold it in half like this as well. And then I could also crease it and do the same thing. And that will give me like a crosshairs on my shirt to be able to know where the center is. So let me show you. It's hard to see, but now you can see I've got two lines there and I can kind of see where um, the middle is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I have my little crosshairs on my shirt. I'm going to take my vinyl and I'm gonna fold it in half so that I know where the center is. And I'm just lining up the design on both sides and I already have all the layers together so that each one of them is centered. And I'm going to just kind of give it a little crease. Now, you don't wanna like go crazy on it, but you just wanna give it a little crease so that you can tell where the center is. And then what you'll do is you will line up the center of the crease that we did with the center of the crease you just folded on your vinyl. And then that way, you're able to kind of get it in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line it like this. Now, for kids' shirts, here's a tip. You typically want to do your design like two fingertips down from the collar. If you're doing adult shirts, you wanna typically do your design about three fingertips down from the collar, okay? So two fingertips, maybe even for baby onesies, like one fingertip, but just to give you an idea, that's about how far down I do that on the shirt itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to line up those two X's or like those two crosses, okay? And then I'm going to peel off the other layers that are going to be on top. And then that way I know that the layer that's on the bottom is in the right spot. It's where I want it to go. I'm not pressing these layers on yet, okay? So um, I go ahead and I have this one on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a press, but I'm not gonna press it for the full 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go over here to my heat press take my Teflon sheet off, and I am using a pressing pillow just because it's a kid's shirt. I don't want any of these seams to get in the way, and I'm gonna place it right here on my pressing pillow, and then I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet on top of my shirt, and I'm gonna press it for a few seconds. Not the full 15 seconds, just enough for the heat transfer vinyl to adhere to the shirt. And then I'm gonna remove the Teflon sheet and I'm gonna peel off the carrier sheet. Okay, so I've got the carrier sheet off. So let me show you guys what it looks like, just so y'all can see. So this is where we are right now, okay? And now what we're gonna do, how do you get the design everyone's asking? Um, it is for club members. So all club members have the design. And I can put a link if you're interested in joining the club. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna peel off this next layer. This is why I always like to line it up because it helps me remember which one comes next. I'm gonna peel off the next layer, which is this purple one, and I'm gonna put the purple one right here on top of the pink one. And it really is that easy, y'all. Now, there will be a little bit of shrinkage with the first one that you press down. That's why you don't wanna use the entire 15 seconds because there will be a little tiny bit of shrinkage. So just kinda keep that in mind. That is totally normal and that happens. So I'm gonna place it on top and now I'm gonna go back over to my press and I'm going to place my Teflon sheet on top of it again and then I'm going to press it again for a few seconds. Okay, so again, I'm not doing it for the full time because um, I'm going to layer it one more time. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm just going to pull the carrier sheet off again and then we're going to repeat. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Okay, so are there more vinyls that shrink more or less than others? I think some of the specialty vinyls shrink a little bit less because they have less give, but the stretch, I would say, probably shrinks the most. I mean, not the stretch, the easy weed. 
Okay, so now I'm just lining this one up again. If you press it for less amount of time, it will shrink less. So you guys can kind of see, it's hard to see in the light, but there we go, y'all can kind of see from the side. So now I'm just gonna press this here again, bring it over to my press. And now, since this is the last layer, I'm actually gonna press it for um, a full 15 seconds. So, okay, here we go. And the reason why I'm holding my press is because again, I have that pressing pillow in there. This is a little girl's shirt, so with that collar, if you don't have a pressing pillow, it won't um, get a good press. That seam will get in the way. For our club members, it is um, 10 bucks a month and you get a bundle of exclusive designs. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just peeling off that carrier sheet and I'm gonna give it one more press. So again, I'm doing one more time, the entire 15 seconds, just to make sure that it's on there really well. And then here we go, we've got this super Whoa! cute shirt. Now, the thing is with this really cute shirt is the way that I can tell it's on there really good is that I can actually see the fibers of the shirt through the vinyl because I'm using that Easy Weed vinyl, I can actually see them. If you don't use an Easy Press or a Heat Press, would you do the same process with an iron? Absolutely. Um, the only thing with an iron is you need to be careful of pressure. So the biggest struggle that people have with irons is that they don't get enough pressure on the design and then it can eventually peel. How many projects can you get with a Teflon sheet? It's It'll be for forever. I mean, it really shouldn't ever go bad unless you cut it or something like that. Um, I am happy to put a link to our club right up above for you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as always. This is just a fun little um, Valentine's Day shirt. And um, I got the heat press on Amazon. I absolutely love it. It was the very first investment I ever made in my business and it has paid for itself over and over and over and over. I hope that these are helpful. Again, if you found value in this, I always appreciate if you show us a little bit of love. That's super, super helpful. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here and I will see you guys. Bye y'all.